SmackDown was actually interesting. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it. The segments, they were nice. I think we were spoiled with Monday Night Raw just a little bit, though, because some people were talking about this episode isn't that good, which I get it. It was a little underwhelming coming off of that epic episode of Monday Night Raw, probably one of the best Monday Night Raws in, like, the past decade. But this show started off with Jade Cargill. She went ahead, cut her promo, like, 20, 25 minutes into the show starting. The promo, I feel, lacked just a little bit of charisma. Uh, you know, it just wasn't the best promo, but Jade Cargill had probably the best entrance that I've seen in the women's division probably ever. The presentation, everything, Jade Cargill looked like money, literally. It just looked great. The only thing that I had to nitpick was really that promo. The promo, it just wasn't great. It was about a minute long, which I get. They probably don't want to expose her too much. I don't think she was really known for her promos in AEW anyway. She was more like the Goldberg type. She'll go out there, squash people, and move on. So, hey, man, Jade Cargo, I think that she is going to be a very, very big star. Maybe even the star of the women's division. And it's only about time till you know, they start pushing her and putting the strap on her and everything like that but great promo by Jade Cargill and it's something that I am looking forward to to see what they end up doing with her if it was up to me I would have put her in a tag team with Bianca Belair and have them both take the title off the Kabuki Warriors and let them go and then let Jade turn on Bianca at some point uh, before Wrestlemania 41 and have them go at it and go into a Wrestlemania showdown personally would have loved to see that but it's very clear they're going a different direction so let's go on ahead and get into that you guys see Bianca and Naomi were being attacked by damage control and Jade made the big save it was just great stuff by Jade Cargo man I'm really really happy to see her now actually finally doing something she signed with Smackdown and then she had that big pop at the end of the show with saving Naomi and Bianca Belair just great stuff seeing those three women in the ring like it's just really really a cool feeling just to see them all three really doing their thing and i think this is going to be a really really good wrestlemania match i thought that we were going to go the road where we see naomi versus dakota kai and then like i said before bianca and jade we see them in a tag team match for the titles but i understand that they are going this way so i'm definitely not mad at it i do think that this is a great way for jade to be able to go on ahead and kind of just hide a little bit behind great performers like naomi and bianca because at the end of the day they probably don't want to put her out there for a singles match if we're being honest i don't know or we don't know how ready jade is at this very moment but it looks like she's ready for a wrestlemania moment and that's what it's leading to if i had to guess they're probably going to give her the pin at wrestlemania she'll probably end up pinning dakota kai at this point so i don't know gonna be really really interesting how it does pan out for jade but right now i don't think there's no way she fails the presentation everything jade cargill is money in wwe really excited to see what they do with her and then you have Rey mysterio and the lwo santos escobar and dominic mysterio nice little promo cool segment whatever whatever now the thing that really caught everybody off guard and that man carlito was that Rey mysterio did not choose carlito to tag with him which i think that was the general consensus of, amongst the audience it was Dragon Lee, which I'm definitely not mad at. The spots at WrestleMania that that guy may do may be insane. Now, Rey Mysterio choosing Dragon Lee, I think this is going to lead to a Carlito heel turn because think about it. You talk about Rey Mysterio, Dragon Lee, and then Carlito was just there for defending Rey Mysterio. So you're telling me that Carlito did all of that for nothing? For just somebody else to just swoop in? for Rey Mysterio's partner at WrestleMania, taking Carlito's WrestleMania moment away from him. I think this is a clear-cut path for heel turn for Carlito, and I think this is the best thing you can do for Carlito's career in the WWE. I think Carlito's career has been underwhelming in the WWE. I, I, don't, I don't like what they're doing with him right now, so I think a uh, heel Carlito would, could do wonders uh, for his last run because I do think this is his last run. The man is about 46, 47 now. So we'll see how it ends up, but I think that um, it's going in a good direction. I do feel it was a little rushed with Dominic Mysterio coming out with the mask on Ray and doing all this and that. I don't know, man. Like, it just feels a little rushed. There was no build to it, and I get it. You have to do things for the build, but um, I just wish that it was built just a tad bit better, in my opinion. And with Dominic Mysterio accepting 
uh, Santos Escobar as his tag team partner for WrestleMania. It does look like it's showing little cracks in the Judgment Day, which is a little surprising. It looks like they may be looking at breaking them up, which could mean the Judgment Day do lose those titles at WrestleMania. But there was a segment where Rhea Ripley, Damian Priest, Finn Balor, and JD McDonough were talking about uh, how Dominic went out there and didn't say anything. Then Dominic shows up backstage and Rhea's like, how come you didn't tell me anything? So those little cracks right there, I think they mean a lot more than what people think. And I think that this means the Judgment Day may be coming to an end very soon. And I think that losing those titles could really mess that up. Even though I don't think it's the coolest thing to do to uh, get rid of the pair of Rhea and Dominic Mysterio. But it really looks like they've been putting uh, Rhea out there solo uh, lately. So I think it could be a possibility that the Judgment Day breaks up and goes about their day. We'll see what they do with Dominic Mysterio because I think he's the guy that's really going to have to pivot uh, with everything. I know that he gets a lot of the most heat in the building. But at the end of the day, Dominic Mysterio really benefited from being in the judgment day and so did everybody else you know i think Rhea ripley she's a star she can go on her own so that's not a problem but i'm worried for dominic mysterio a little bit if judgment day is coming to an end and then one part that i noticed out watching the show was that paul Heyman did a segment basically saying roman reigns sent the rock to do this now we don't know how this can go can the rock go in and say you ain't sent me to do nothing or can the rock kind of just go with it and yeah he was sent that's an interesting one because the rock keeps calling himself the final boss he is higher than the tribal chief potentially as calling himself the final boss the final person that you want to beat so is he really being sent by roman reigns to do these orders or this is just something that paul Heyman and roman reigns are just plotting together to go on ahead and get on the rock of course and you know make it seem like they are really in charge when in reality is the rock who's in the head of the tko board and all that so this is a very very interesting one and i think that it is going to play a huge role in uh the bloodline storyline because roman reigns saying that he sent the rock somebody who is a huge star a bigger star than him obviously their family because obviously they're the bloodline but I don't know, man. I don't think Roman Reigns actually sent The Rock. I think this is going to show some cracks as well uh, before the main event of WrestleMania 40 this year between Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. We'll have to see how that tag team match does play out. This is going to be an interesting last week with Monday being very eventful at the Barclays Center with The Rock showing up, Roman Reigns showing up, and potentially a CM Punk showing up. But guys, we're going to have to see what happens just two more days from now so if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and thank you guys for watching this video thank you guys so much for the support on the last wwe tv video we're gonna keep pushing this we're gonna keep going thank you guys so much i'm gonna catch y'all peace